Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester. Panhandle Outdoors, your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors. I'm Winston Chester. I'm glad you're here this Tuesday morning. Our weather brought to us, of course, by Haney Technical Center. For any of your technical aspirations, run by City Principal Mike Heppenstall and the able bodied staff over there at the corner of Baldwin Road and Highway 77. High today is going to be 88, and low tonight they have predicted 6 to 9, so that's going to be the first time it gets into the 60s since about last April. So that's a good sign right there. Not a lot of, uh, not a lot of heat in this area. The water temperature, though, also has dropped down to 83 degrees. So that tells you a lot what's going on. It's cooling off a little bit. All this rain finally is catching up on all that rainwater is getting out into the Gulf. I mean, a bunch of it, and it has cooled it off some. The river readings, take a look at the river readings. The Apalachicola, Blunstown, the big river, what the old timers used to call it. It's reading at 14.7, and it has a slow and steady drop. It is still in the, uh, almost in the flood stage. You won't still want to be careful. You have a lot of backwater up in those sloughs and all. You have a lot of swift water. So, and you have also a lot of debris floating in the water. So when you have this much rain, you really have to be careful of going out on the river. Taking a look at the Choctahatchee River at Caribbean, it also has a slow and steady drop, not any interruptions in it, but it's, it's going to get down by Thursday night and Friday morning. It, down, it may get down below 10 foot. So right now, though, it's reading 11.4 and falling, okay? Our, our tide chart brought to us by Kent, Forest Lawn, Funeral Home, and Cemeteries, and their motto is when caring counts. So run by and check out the folks there in time of need. Okay, so we're looking at day the 27th on that Tuesday, getting over those neat tides, and we're looking at a really good tide of a high tide this morning at 2.03 and a low tide right after lunch at 1.36. And we had a 1.2 foot range, and looking on it the rest of the week, is getting stronger all week long. Okay. The weather, uh, I always want to wrap it up with what the marine forecast is doing, so I always like to say it's going to be about, about. I use the term about, so it's going to come out of the east about 5 to 10 miles per hour today, okay? We'll take our break and we'll be right back. Welcome back. I want to say a special good morning to Johnny and Michelle Barwick up there in Bainbridge, Georgia. They pick up Panhandle Outdoors up there and watch it every morning. I appreciate it. Saw them down at Mexico Beach at a weigh-in, and we're going to have that video uh, in a little bit. But first, we're going to show another video over here at Dandy Ridge. A lot of our archers get together on Tuesday night and run over there on Highway 22 at Dandy Ridge and take some shooting practice and have a really good time. So we'll have a little five-minute video on it, and then we'll come back. So let's go ahead and roll this video, Bob. All right, we're out here at Dandy Ridge Outfitters. It's out close by Tyndall Air Force Base, and um, every Tuesday they have a shootout with bows, and so we're hoping that we can come out here and learn something, maybe compete with these guys. So can't wait to see what goes on.
right, Mr. Buck, so what do people need to do t in order to be able to come out here and shoot with you guys? Well, uh, basically, you know, come over Tuesday, you know, roughly about 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're, well, if we're shooting 3D, they need to just have a 3D uh, membership to the range, which is good for a year, and, and also it helps where you can practice during the week uh, out here when we're open. Uh, and then it's just $10 to shoot, and we just shoot for fun, and we shoot till dark, and, and it just help, it helps you get to be, you know, a better hunter, and you just keep practicing and honing in your skills. Unfortunately, I haven't shot my bow in a while, so <laughs> I, I, I made a, a, a pretty bad shot right there. That yeah. was about 46 yards. And, not not the best of them, but uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah that, I, I need practice, so I need to get out here and practice yeah. with everybody. How much is the uh, 3D membership? It's only year? forty dollars, and uh, for you know for a year, and uh, it's only five dollars to come over and shoot, and uh, you know it's it's really good because we have multiple targets set up mm -hmm. uh, all the way up to fifty five yards. So nice. Uh, you got a lot of practice you can get in. Right. You know. All right. Thank you. As you can see, these guys are Boston. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Matthews, Hoyt, Vortex 32, Hoyt, 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 Matthews Creed, uh, Quest, <laughs> Matthews, Hoyt Spotter 30, uh, both a Hoyt and a Matthews, not at the same time though. So what's the longest shot you've killed anything with, with your bow? About 400 yards. Hi, I'm Whitney. What's your name? My name's Kirsten. Cool. Do you hunt out here, or have you ever come and shot a bow? Um, yes. You have? Do you enjoy it out here? Yeah. That's cool. Where are you from? Uh, here. <clears throat> Where do you go to school? I go to school at Deer Point Elementary. Cool. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Maybe you didn't notice my hunting shoes. Bobcat, roar! The native Florida wolf. Not everything is bigger in Texas. Javelina. I know you guys have seen this one a lot. The wild hog. We'll see a couple of these guys in Colorado in a few months. The mule deer. The ever dangerous and often hunted German Shepherd. I think just about every hunter in Florida would like to shoot these, but we can't. I saw one of these on Back Beach Road the other day going to Pier Park. And finally, my usual whitetail. My name is Kenneth Parrish. I shot a 167, came in second, and I'll be here next week. Hi, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll take Walt, thank Walter and Whitney for taking care of that assignment for me. Now, next we're going to roll into the Mexico Beach Artificial Reef Association. Big tournament they had this past Saturday that covers way in. Got to say, a lot of folks down there. Appreciate all them uh, watching the show, and it's just a great turnout. And everybody was really happy and some nice fish were caught. So let's go ahead and uh, roll into this video of the weigh-in on Saturday. Hi folks, we're out here down at Mexico Beach at the Mexico Beach Artificial Reef Association Big Tournament. Familiar face, Ron Childs. Hey man, it's good to see you again. Uh, buddy. <laughs> it's 17th year. 17th year. 17th year. It's wow. our biggest fundraiser. We actually have raised a lot of money doing this and built over a million dollars worth of reefs, and this is our biggest fundraiser right here. Well, I know it is. Everybody's excited. I love coming out here just covering the way in. We're about to get ready to start weighing in some fish. I've already seen a couple of big right. brought in. So, how's the turnout? We had 140 boats. Wow. And uh, we had some you know, rainy weather, and it's been raining all July and August, but we've been very pleased with it. We got a good group of people here, and uh, everybody's excited, and uh, we're going we're gonna to see. Okay, so listen, uh, you had some uh, 
different categories. You had your king and your Spanish. And the Wahoo. And the Wahoo. Right. So we get a chance to see all, all right. three of those. But it's mostly a kingfish tournament. We, uh -huh. we throw the Wahoo in and the Spanish just to kind of like, you know, in case you catch something and you're yeah. way out there trolling for king. And uh, but mainly it's a kingfish tournament. Yeah. We, we pay for first, second, and third in kingfish. All right, now, we want to go over here. I want you to introduce me to the Miss Kingfish. Uh, Gail's behind the camera, so we're going to meet the Miss Kingfish, and then we're going to watch all these people. Now, you remember on your show, remember when I told you that this one was very special? Yes. Uh, yeah, trust me. Okay. She's all right. special. All right, let's go get her. Talk all right, to her. I'll all get right. her. All right. all right, folks, we're here with a 2013 Miss Kingfish, Taylor Gallagher. Yay. From, where are you from? I'm from Pensacola, Florida. Okay, tell us what you do in Pensacola. I am a personal trainer and an IFBB figure professional. Oh, so you you do it big time then, being a personal trainer. So, uh, how do you like coming down here to Mexico Beach? Um, this is my first time here, and I've had a lot of fun. Everyone's very nice, and it's a it's a nice town. I've had a really great time. It, it is a nice place. Now, have you uh, have you seen enough fish yet, or you want to try to see some more fish? I'd like to see some more, and I'm excited that I get to come back next year and yep. fish with the. Um, former Miss King fish. So That's right. You're I will fish. be back. I did get to fish on Thursday, so I caught a king. Oh, good for you. So not do you, enough. Do you like to fish? I do. Oh, I good. really enjoy it. Do so you fish so. over in Pensacola a lot? I do. Uh huh. Very good. good time. What's your favorite kind of fishing? I've actually the first time I ever went fishing, I caught a tarpon out in Boca Grand Pass. You're kidding. And I kind of got addicted to it then because I caught a really big one. And, yeah, um, wow. That's, that's my favorite so far. Wow. I got to fight that thing for about 45 minutes and it was pretty that's exciting. Been there, done that. I know exactly what you're talking about. It is a thrill. It is, and it's boats chasing everyone and yes. sharks on the fish. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I liked it. Well, it's great to meet you and good to have yeah. you down in Mexico Beach. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Okay. I'm in folks sitting here with this and this we've always looking for these lady captains they're few and far between but i found one down here charlene Burke. Burke, yes oh, charlene tell us about yourself real quick well um my name is charlene burke and i actually have a master's degree in marine biology and well that's fudging then our captain's not supposed to get that kind of I knowledge know, but, I do. but that's good <laughs> okay but um anyway i love taking people out, making them feel comfortable on the boat, grandmas, little babies, moms, dads, grandpas, and I want family. I, I, uh, I just encourage families to come and enjoy the water. Oh, that's great. So you, you fish a lot yeah, most of your life. You've yes, been, you yes. You love fishing. Where are you from originally? Uh, Pascagoula, Mississippi. Oh, you got that You got that Gulf blood in you, Gulf I Mexico do. blood in you. So. Yes, I do. And you have a couple of kids? or you? you yes, have... I have three, three children. Okay. Yes. Um, Yes, well, I have two the, boys and a girl. Good and for you. Now, what's the name of your boat? My name, my, the boat's name is Saint Misbehaving. Saint <laughs> Misbehaving. Saint Misbehaving. I love names of boats and all. Okay, and listen, where are you docked up? Um, uh, actually, I trailer my boat, but uh, the Mexico Beach Marina is a beautiful place to dock your boat, and Port Saint Joe Marina is too. All right, if some folks from Panama or we we'll cover nine counties, if some of those folks want to come down and fish with you, how can they get a hold of you? Um, eight five zero. 340-1035 or info at aboutfuncharters.com Very good. And how'd you do today? Well, we uh, we weighed. Uh, we didn't get skunked. That's good. That's good. <laughs> we, we weighed in, but um, in the professional um, bracket and we weighed. Well, you're on the board we, we right weighed. now, aren't you? I'm on, yep, I'm That's on the board. That's good. That's one of the secrets getting here early. You get yes, all it is. <laughs> I know. And then I, I'm called the darter. You know, you dart out and you get your fish and then you dart back in and then those big boys will... Okay. I have a 20, 26 foot twin bay, and so I, I don't go that far out. All right, now listen, it's great to meet you. Mr. Winston, it was good to meet you, and I watch your show all the time. I really do. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Band right. Outdoors, right here at Mexico Beach, all right?
get together tighter so we can get it in one picture. Together. All right. Big smiles. and make you summer ready.
Captain Foot start in. Yeah, you had a great day today, buddy. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. How'd, how'd y'all uh, uh, was it bumpy out there? Uh, wasn't too bad. Too bad. It's got a new new boat, new 35 Sea Hunter, so it was pretty. Pretty, you have a pretty good crew helping you? Oh, oh yes, yeah. sorry, Danny. Sure did. <laughs> you weighed in some nice fish, though. Yes. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you very much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blue Sardinas from Tacoma City. Get all of them back to the house. All right, we're going to wrap it up down here. Okay, welcome back, folks. I hope you enjoyed both those videos we got all covered this past weekend. So let's take a look at our fish and game forecast today, brought to us by Mark Cowart of Edgewater Beach Realty. The number is 832-6000. So we're looking at our times at 546 to 746 this morning. That's, that's right now, folks. If that shows over, y'all run on out there and uh, catch you a fish. And this afternoon, late this evening, we're looking at 610 till 5, I'm sorry, 610 till 810, right there, all right, so that's going to be the uh, story on a fish and game forecast, now a lot of, a lot of stuff coming up the rest of the week, got all kind of uh, programs coming up, you're going to really enjoy it, we, we try to bring you the very best in outdoors and here on Fantail Outdoors, and it's good to have a, a couple of crews doing different things, there's so many things going on here in the Panhandle, so we really, uh, really appreciate all the help we get, and most of all, we appreciate the, the viewership, I, I cannot go anywhere without folks telling me they watch the show and they enjoy it. And that means so much to us. Uh, you know, we're, we're not getting rich doing this show. We're just, you know, we're getting, uh, we're just bringing you the good message of doing stuff in the outdoors. So we're going to continue to do that. And meanwhile, we're going to wrap it up for today. You do something good for somebody. You have a great day and God bless. Thanks for joining us for Panhandle on Tours with Winston Chester. Panhandle on Tours features hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle on Tours.